Hello and welcome to another video. So today I have the 2022 RAV4 Prime. This is the XSE model with the premium package. So it's the top of the line with all the additions you can get on the car. So I'm going to show you around and show you what's inside. So up front here, this is the two-tone white and black. So you can see the glossy bumper in the bottom here and the glossy top. You got the aggressive grill with the uh, day daytime running lights down there and the headlights up there. You can see these nice rims on here. You can see the plug-in hybrid logo right there. Even from the side, the glossy finish on the bottom and up top looks really classy. On the back here, same theme continues with the glossy finish on the bottom and the top. From the side here, same thing with the glossy in the bottom and the top. And you can see in here, red struts. That's a nice touch. I wish the calipers were red too. That would look really cool. Just for comparison, this is a 2021 RAV4 XLE, non-hybrid or non-plug-in version. And it looks pretty similar actually from the front, except for the in uh, straight LED DRLs, you got the uh, traditional DRLs on the bottom here. The 2022 RAV4 Prime has many great features. So as I walk you through this car, I'll talk about some of these features. So the car is running right now with the lights running, so you can kind of get an idea of what the car looks like with the lights running. But this car comes with 302 horsepower combined between the electric motor and then the gasoline powertrain. So this is very impressive for an SUV. Uh, really good pickup speeds on, these, on this model, particularly because of the two motors. It's an all-wheel drive, so it's an uh, electric all-wheel drive. Also has 42 miles of EV range, which is good enough for most commutes. The most common commute on, in America is about 20 miles. So 20 miles back and forth would be about 40, so it would cover most people's commute. Inside comes full uh, with all kinds of technology you can get in today's car, including lane keep assist and uh, traffic aware cruise control, but also has a 360-degree camera, has a 9-inch multimedia display, has wireless charging, wireless app or CarPlay, and uh, Android Auto, along with a heads-up display. And uh, this uh, premium package one comes in with even paddle shifters. Uh, you, can, uh, you can use that to shift, you know, kind of fake shift your gears. Uh, you have the red stitching inside. You have a panoramic roof. So this one is packed with features, and it's really meant to be that Toyota premium vehicle. And that's why it costs over $50,000. But that price will come down if you qualify for that $7,500 tax credit. This is the fully upgraded package with the premium upgrade. So you can see here, there's a front camera. There's a camera on the bottom here, as well as a camera on the back that help you get all the views. And the inside rear view mirror also has a uh, also has a camera view here in the rear passenger side you have the charging port this gives you about 36 miles of range on full electric mode which is enough for most people's commute on the other side of course notice the red prime logo here on the other side you have the traditional gas cap Looking closer to the vehicle, you can see the side lights on the mirror here. The mirrors are black, gloss black finish. On the top here, these also have the roof racks attached. There is a nice fin on the back as well. All right, let's see what's inside. So on the door here, right off the bat, you see the red stitching here. It's a soft uh, padded touch actually. It's, it feels really nice. It feels really high quality. You got the window controls and then the side view mirror controls. And you have two 
uh, settings to save for two different driver driver profiles for the seat controls on the seat here you can see you got the lumbar support here and you got the traditional controls but it's all automatic zooming out here as we can see here um, you got the red stitching all the way in here as well and let me just jump in here all right so uh, the steering wheel here also has the red stitching on the inside here as you can see the steering was also nice leather padded um, as I was telling you earlier the camera here on the side view mirror or in the rear view mirror it can be just a mirror or it can double as a screen for the rear view um, camera the let's go to the controls in the center here as far as the gear uh, gear cluster you've got the park reverse uh, neutral and the traditional controls but then you also have these uh, EV controls where you can change the mode from eco to sport and you also have the auto EV hy hybrid mode or just charge hold so the charge hold mode can be useful if you are say going up a hill and before you approach the hill you charge your EV battery so that you can use both the electronic motor as well as the gas motor to give you extra power or if you're going off-roading you can charge your battery up and now you have extra power to get out get on the boulders and things like that they actually do have a trail mode too not entirely sure what it does but it probably allows you more power to uh, differential things like that. you also can turn the traction control off here and underneath that you have the wireless charging pad for your cell phone as well the seats here also have the red trim red stitching here uh, giving this nice sporty look uh, you can see the perforations it's heated as well as ventilated this one comes with the sunroof as well or the moonroof so let me pull this back and uh, open that up here so as you can see even the rear view i mean rear passengers will be able to enjoy the view uh, it opens up as well there's two panels there's the front panel and there's a back panel right there so there's a button that can close the cover automatically as well. As far as the vanity mirror, as soon as you open it up, the light turns on automatically. Looking at the steering wheel here, you've got the lane keep controls as well as the traffic array cruise control. Uh, you have your Bluetooth settings, things like that here. They have wireless charging here as well as wireless apple carplay as well as android auto the odometer here as you can see there's a digital display in the middle along with um, analog uh, fuel gauges as well as the battery gauge um, it tells you the electric miles you have available so unfortunately as you can see here right now it says i have close to zero miles of electric only driving available right now but as you drive it will uh, automatically kind of build that up if I let's see okay because the battery is low right now I'm unable to change the mode from hybrid to electric vehicle mode as you can see right here there's also a heads-up display in the premium package looking inside to the center console here we have a pretty deep storage pocket let's put the camera inside and have a closer look there's two USB-C ports that are pretty fast charging Looking forward here, we have two cup holders in the middle and a 12 volt charge port here as well as a USB-A port and a wireless charging port in the back here. It's a kick to open trunk here, so let's see it open. We do have the all-weather mats installed that do not come standard. The wireless char uh, the charging kit, wire charging um, kit here, we haven't opened yet. Uh, it's pretty big storage space in the back here for the, for the 2022 RAV4. On the side you have a standard plug outlet uh, with 1500 watt output. Uh, you do have the pull out storage cover in the back. There's another 12 volt port in the back. Looking under the mat here we have, let me get under it here, a spare wheel as well as the jack kit. So you have all you need down here. 
Just press this button up here to close it easily. You can also swipe your leg under the back bumper. So kick to close as well. Let's have a look at the back seat now. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of uh, headroom and uh, legroom down there. The door material here is all soft touch with the red trim. Uh, high quality materials throughout the car here. You have a bottle holder here in the back as well as on the other side and you can see the red stitching throughout the back seats. Uh, we have all weather mats installed in the back as well. The red stitching and lines um, gives it a sporty look throughout. You have the vents in the middle there as well. You have the bottle holder or cup holder on the side door there as well. And then you see the seat hitter button, heater button on the back over there as well. So the rear seats are heated as well. And you have the center um, armrest that comes down and gives you extra cup holders. Other than that, let's get this back in there. Looking forward, you do have a couple of more USB ports. Let's open them up. So the vents are adjustable in the back, which is nice. The USB ports are two more USB-C ports, which are pretty fast charging as well. Looking to the back here, you have access to the rear trunk. More lighting on the top there. Because this is a EV mode car, when it's running on the battery, it's very quiet and there's a voice speaker on the outside. This, that's what it sounds like, but it's standard with all the cars due to safety regulations. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one.